Now uh, here's another update from Al. We had some, uh, we had a wind uh, storm come through uh, yesterday, and uh, it dumped a lot of water, and it had winds of about 70 miles an hour, uh, and uh, the tower guy wires held well, so the tower is fine as far as it didn't fall. But here's what happened. Ouch not good too much torque from the uh, generators buckled the tower on the top and I can see why it failed uh, I'll pause the camera so I can refocus a uh, closer zoom in and you'll see why that happened so here's what happened at the point that it buckled uh, I don't know if you could see the two uh, the clamps where uh, that tube is held onto but the bottom uh, pipes are not sufficiently long to distribute the load over those cross members on the tower. And so it buckled, as you can see. So now what I'm, what I'm going to have to do is change the design a little bit. Uh, one time, I think uh, if you look at my videos, you saw that I had one turbine facing down and the other one up. And I think that's the design that I need to go back to uh, but rather than just doing that I'm just gonna get a man lift and three more sections of tower I'm just gonna take this thing almost a hundred feet up in the air uh, before I do that I'm gonna have to redo the guy wires and so not redo them but uh, uh, strengthen the anchors but essentially uh, if I have one turbine down and one up when the wind is pushing on the turbine that's facing down it's going to try to bend the tower this way like that. So if I'm pushing on that turbine, it's going to try to go like this. However, the one on the top will counteract that force by pushing the other way and making the tower try to bend this way. So I'm going to put longer pipes, about three feet long instead of the 10 inches that I have now, I'm going across uh, up and down on the tower to take advantage of the additional support that the braces give by going three feet down and then make one of them go up and one down uh, that have the same exact height so the same amount of torque is on both ends so well it's a good thing that uh, I'm blessed with the good Lord uh, allow those uh, anchors to hold in place at least that part of the structure uh, is fundamentally good we're going to strengthen them uh, much more uh, so we can go up another uh, 30 feet or so and so that's going to be a project in the next month or so uh, for right now I'm just going to uh, finish my solar panels and uh, some other stuff that I'll show you here in just a minute uh, I might as well just go ahead and now take the time and finish wiring this. Uh, I got my Outback charge controller as you can see here. So I'm gonna bring the wires from my uh, solar go through uh, a breaker and the diode through here. I won't need that amp meter anymore with the Outback uh, charge controller. Uh, bring 80 volts here. I got 28 panels so I'm gonna do strings of four. That gives me exactly 28. And then from there go down uh, to the new bank of batteries that I'm making here. So I'm just going to concentrate on doing that, getting the battery bank placed, uh, put in place. Uh, those resistive loads are going to go away. And uh, you might be wondering what all this stuff is here. So uh, essentially I added another uh, disconnect to disconnect the battery bank from the board entirely that disconnects the uh, inverters from the rest of the system and that's going to get rewired in just uh, uh, hopefully today and uh, what's going to happen is that that guy will feed this and this is a uh, circuit um, limiter it's a voltage limiter that will open up the voltage uh, when it gets below a certain set point so the battery goes here, goes out of here, goes up here, from here it feeds 
my inverter here and the other inverter here and uh, when the voltage gets too low that's just going to open up and it's going to save my batteries from getting too discharged. So what's going to happen is that the AC output of this guy here will feed this um, automatic transfer switch and this automatic transfer switch will have power coming in from my circuits outside into here and from the circuit that's going to come out of this uh, uh, inverter. So when uh, I have a loss of power here, it will de-energize the coiling here and switch me automatically to the 120 volts coming in from the outside. Then the power output from here will also feed, will feed a 120 amp, but it also feed this guy here. And that will take it up to 240 volts AC and that will allow me to run my well pump um, that's outside and uh, other 240 volt circuits. So I'm going to spend the time for right now and just getting this thing prepped up, get it ready before I uh, work on that tower again uh, and getting it uh, functional and uh, put all the breakers that I purchased. I've got a whole bunch of breakers uh, as you can see here. Uh, got a bunch of 300 amp breakers, 200 amp breakers, 250 amp breakers. I kind of calculated the loads for all of these things here. This is going to require a 300 amp breaker at 4 kilowatts max load. That's going to be a 200 amp breaker uh, right there. Uh, that's also a uh, 200 amp breaker here. Uh, a 40 amp breaker is going to go up there. Uh, a big fuse is going to go between the batteries and the disconnects. Uh, so I'm just gonna make sure I have all the electrical stuff uh, done properly uh, before I mess with the tower again and fix it. Uh, get one thing at a time because once I raise that tower those turbines are just gonna put out so much power I need to be able to make sure that everything's ready to accept that kind of power coming in. So thanks for uh, watching the video God bless you and uh, I hope you find it you find it useful. Once once I get done with this, I will really will take the time and explain step by step how everything actually is hooked up and what it does. I know it's kind of hard to visualize it now. In my mind, I know I see clearly what it is that, that it's gonna do and you know how, but it's, it's kind of hard to explain it until we got it everything wired. And I'll just follow you. I'll show you step by step where each each wire goes, why it does what it does, and. Uh, go from there. So thanks. Take care.